We're recording. We're calling the police department. This is right after uh -huh. this weird call from this guy that was posing. Yeah. Sonoma County Sheriff's Office, not emergency line. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Our next available dispatcher will be with you shortly. Thank you for your patience. Mm. Thank you for continuing to hold. Hello, County Sheriff's Office. This is Meryl. Hi, Meryl. My name is Jonathan Clack. I'm calling from San Antonio, Texas. I had talked to a Deputy Mermod um, a few days ago on a missing persons report, and I've been leaving several messages. We have audio recordings of that person that's missing. We also have the person that's missing uh, telling us on these audio recordings that he was kidnapped by a guy named Jeff Pesca, and I am trying to get this information to you guys, I've been trying for several days. I just got a call from, uh, what was his name? Uh, Frank Roman. Frank Roman, trying to identify himself like he was a detective uh, associated with y'all. But I said, well, wait a minute. I got to do my due diligence because there's potential attempted murder on this guy. So I need your name and badge number. And he gave us his name, badge number. And I said, uh, what department in... He couldn't give a legitimate answer to that. And I said, well, are you a detective for the police? Well, I'm a private detective. I said, well, no, I want to. He, he said, where's Richard? I said, well, I want to speak to the police. Are you the police? And he tried to push himself off as he was saying, well, you've been implicated and I want to know where Richard is. I'm like, I can tell you where the guy is that Richard told us tried to kidnap him. And he's not interested in that. I'm like, what's going on here? So apparently this guy, uh, Roman? Yes, Frank Roman. Frank Roman. Uh, he gave us a badge number. He said, well, I work with the police department. I said, but are you a detective for the police? And he said, I'm a private detective hired by the family. So I don't know who this guy is. So I'm trying to get a hold of somebody right now that I can give all this information to to try and help this guy, Richard Montblou, that was alive and well as of 12-something today, where we recorded an, an entire hour of this guy giving us a testimony of what's going on. And the guy admitting doing it. <laughs> yes, I did. I spoke, But that's been, what, three days? Yeah. And I've been called... I'm sorry? Man, he, uh, does he check his messages? I'm telling him, hey, I've got audio recordings of a, a kidnap suspect and a, a guy that's in a missing persons. And, you know, I'm... Court number? No. Okay, what was your phone number, Jonathan? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so, you know, this is just overwhelming to me. It's like, I'm just... Okay, it's two. Okay. And what, you said his name was Richard Montblou? Yeah, Richard Montblou. M-O-N-T-B-L-E-A-U. Richard Montblou. Okay. And he's been checking in with us for the last two days. And he said that this guy, Jeff Pesca, had kidnapped him. Uh, duct taped him, put a sock in his mouth, drove him for three hours. And uh, Richard said he was able to escape out of the guy's truck. And some people uh, helped him. He said some Christian people gave him 200 bucks. And he saw me do a video on, on YouTube trying to reach out to the YouTube community. Someone help us find Richard Montblou. And then he was able to uh, email us. And then we got that. We got or we got an email address and we were able to get an email from him. And at that point, I said, well, could you please call us somehow? And he called us from a cell phone and he told us this horrific story that I recorded the entire thing. And the guy that's living in Richard's house named Jeff Pesca is this guy that keeps saying, oh, well, God told me to do this and God told me to do that. And this guy, Richard, is probably being hunted by several people that mean to do him harm. And Jeff admitted doing it. And, audio. and Jeff admitted doing it on audio. It's like, it's insane. Okay. I'll find Jeff. Yeah, someone needs to go arrest. Someone needs to go get Jeff Pesco right now and detain him. Yeah, so I see the original, I see the original call for service here, and I do see that the his report um, that Deputy 
my mom had worked on. Um, I do see it was forwarded to investigations, so I'm not able to see what specific detective is working on it. Um, what I can do for you is I can get you, I know it's not immediate contact, but I can get you over to the general investigations line. Um, and if there's no one there, I mean, I would highly urge you to leave a message. Um, if there is somebody there that's able to take the call, obviously they're going to be able to help you and, and advise who's working with me. Um, but I, I do see that we have here the report for him, and I can give you. Do you let me ask you a question? Uh, okay, so this guy that called that he was he was, he was literally bordering posing as a police officer. He he tried to make us believe he was a police officer until we further pressed him, and then he only said, "Well, I'm a investig uh, private investigator." But the weird thing is, there's some other stuff that's very strange going on with his family. And his family may be implicated in this. Oh. So it's just really important. But... <laughs> really, no, no connection. It's uh, some, yeah, some guy named Jeff Pesca moved into his house. And I, I have a YouTube channel. And this Jeff Pesca guy apparently is a follower of my channel. That's it. I see. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay, so, so, Jonathan, what would you like us to do? Would you like so, to Well, yeah, I want someone, yeah, I would, would like... Would you like a deputy more on this? Well, or? I want deputy, man, deputy Mermot, if he's off, say, man, someone call him up. He's got a cell phone. Hey, Jonathan Clegg is coming in with all this conclusive intelligence. And it, I post, listen, I posted all this online I just got off YouTube. I did a video. I said, here is a folder with all the audio recordings of me recording Jeff Pesca, him admitting it, Richard Montblou saying he was tied up, he was carted off, he was gagged, and this guy told him, you're going to be sodomized at least once before this day's over. That's what he's telling this guy. This guy gets free of his restraints. He's calling me, and I'm like, you know, and I'm trying to help this guy get to somewhere safe, and I'm in San Antonio, Texas. Can't contact Deputy Murma just just because he, he was the initial deputy on the report. Um, it's, it's, oh, who's the, who? Who is who is the police? Forwarded. So I can tell you, it has been forwarded to the investigation, right? The, the detective. Um, so it's no longer within Deputy Murma's hands. It's it's now in hands of the investigators to further investigate. Mm -hmm. Well, is there a name of an investigator I can talk to? See, I don't have that information yet because I can't see that which detective it's been assigned to. It doesn't mean it hasn't been assigned to a detective. Well, yeah, okay. Can you give us the report? Can you can you give us the report number this this is all under so we have a start? Yeah, absolutely. Let me know when you're ready. I'll give you a report. We're ready. We're ready. Okay, it's going to be twenty three. Yep. Dash. 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 7413. 23-7413. Yep. Now forward us to the... Now she said she could forward us to the next person. Okay, yeah. Us. So, yeah. Could you forward us to the next people we could possibly talk to? Question for the investigation line. I'll give you the number to your case to get disconnected. And if you wanted to request a report to... That would be done through our records department. Um, but like I said, I, I just, I unfortunately don't have an idea of who's trying to find the case. So we can get with your starting point with the general. Board. That would be good. I just need to give this stuff to somebody so somebody can jump in and try and help this guy. And, and I'm ready for the phone number. Zero. It's four two four seven zero three. And that's the number to. Investigations. The investigation with line. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer you over there. Like I said, I leave to just nobody answers, but somebody will get back to you and preferably whoever's been assigned to. Um, that's not saying there's not anybody in there. I just don't know what. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the audio recordings of Richard and we're going to post them. I'm posting all the I'm po 
but I want all the clean audios and just go put them on a thing and that's going up next. Sure. And that's all that's all going out next. Yeah, my name is Jonathan Kleck. Um, I'm calling from San Antonio, Texas. I've called several times over the last several days um, for report number 23-7413. It's a case on Richard Mont Blue. Um, I have many audio recordings of Richard Mont Blue. I've talked to him in the past two days twice. And um, also I have audio recordings of this person named Jeff Pesca that is staying at his house. Richard Mont Blue said he was he was kidnapped by Jeff Pesca. He was bound, gagged, tied driven several hours from where his home is, um, and he escaped. Uh, I have those audio recordings. I've confronted Jeff Pesca, who's at Richard's house. Jeff Pesca even said, yes. I said, did you do this? And he said, yes, but he said the Lord told him to do it. So there's a guy named Jeff Pesca that is at Richard Montblue's house that probably needs to be detained and questioned. Richard Montblue is on the streets contacting me because I reached out through social media and YouTube and people were able to uh, help us with an email address. Richards was able to get in touch with an email and that is all posted on my latest video on Jonathan Kleck on YouTube. There is an entire folder of all the information. I have made it public so anyone and everyone can get to it. So someone please call me back because I've been diligently working to try and get Richard Montblue to a place of safety. My numbers. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So here. sign off on here. Yep. Okay. So now we're signing out. This recording has been listening to the whole thing. Yep. Okay. Here we go. All right.